After raising $100 million in further investment, the geniuses at Skydio are going places. Today, I will explain why their recent expansion into enterprise-level drones shouldn't concern anyone still waiting for the delivery of their consumer-grade Skydio 2, and why we all need to thank Uncle Sam for the upsurge in US-manufactured enterprise drones. Stay tuned. Geeksvana is your drone channel. Geeksvana is a YouTube channel focused on drones and tech. We bring you the latest drone news, how-to videos, interviews and some fun live streams. To get more content like this, subscribe and to get the latest drone news and tech how-to videos first, hit the notification bell. We're a small channel and your support is hugely appreciated. Following recent releases from DJI with their Matrice 300 RTK and Parrot Anafi USA, it is now the turn of Skydio to stake their claim on the ever-expanding enterprise-level drone market. Ever since the US government and federal agencies took the direction of banning and advising against the use of Chinese manufactured drones for use within a wide range of environments, we've seen an increase of investment in US-made drones. Skydio are the most recent entrants into the market with the announcement of their X2 drone, which will be available in two models. This follows confirmation that the Redwood City-based firm has managed to raise $100 million in Series C funding. This latest funding round brings the total funding to an impressive $170 million and is a clear sign that high-level investors see huge merit in the Silicon Valley company and their proprietary Skydio autonomy system. This investment was announced along with the new structure to the Skydio senior team to position the company for the times ahead. Watching the startup grow from its founding in 2014 is impressive and something which we should all relish. Any move to dilute the dominance some companies hold in the drone sector should be applauded and welcomed. It is a tough thing to describe anyone as winning lockdown, but you have to take your hats off to Skydio, who have plotted a course through some difficult months, which resulted in the manufacturer improving their production of the Skydio 2, meaning back orders will be met more quickly and more capacity for new purchases. Hopefully, this means us European buyers could get some good news soon. Skydio have also released a fantastic update to the existing Skydio 2 fleet, uh, gaining substantial investment and now announcing the upcoming release of a new Enterprise drone, tabled for quarter four this year. Right, onto the new drone itself. The Skydio X2 is titled as Built for Business, Ready for Duty. A clever tagline to explain, this is a drone to cover most enterprise scenarios from part 107 pilots through to law enforcement and even military. Unlike the recent release from Parrot, who chose to use their existing model, the Anafi, as the design and form factor base, Skydio have wiped the slate clean and will be bringing us a very different and bespoke drone. As you might expect, the drone has at its heart the incredible Skydio autonomy system, which allows the X2 to feature 360 degree situational awareness, IR imaging and advanced enterprise skills. Highlights include a 360 super zoom, FLIR 320 by 256, 6.2 kilometer range, 180 vertical view and a 35 minute battery life. One thing you can help with is price. Keeping in mind the recent entries to the enterprise market, including the new Parrot at $7,000, what price point would you expect to see the Skydio come in at? Let me know in the comments below, I'd really be interested to know your thoughts. Something else new with this particular version of the Skydio drone is that the X2 can be flown at night and comes with an enterprise level controller. This will have a built-in touchscreen which is compatible with gloves and a new wireless system to extend the range. This is an interesting move which will excite many enterprise users. One piece of feedback Geeks Finder has been given by many potential users of the newer Parrot and Affi USA was the disappointment that no further enhancement had been made to improve the Parrot controller over the one available with the standard $500 Anafi. Taking a closer look at the camera, and here Skydio claims some pretty impressive stats, including four times the FLIR resolution of the DJI Mavic 2 Enterprise and a 360 degree live view of the flight with a hundred times digitally stabilized zoom. There will be a couple of versions available. Visit the Skydio site for more details. There's a link in the description below. This drone is another fruit from the tree of the US Department of Defense, insisting all enterprise drones be made in the USA. So 
we have some thanks to give them for expanding their horizons in the drone industry. Even if these latest drones are enterprise focused, more development and innovation happening in the US and Europe can only be a good thing for the future of the drone industry in general. We have some more coming up on the enterprise market very soon on Geeksvana, so stay tuned. Please remember to like and subscribe. Alright, he's still here. Uh, no one's seat. <laughs>